Have you ever wanted to create that film look in your videos but don't want to commit to buying another camera to carry around? I have an option for you. Today, I want to show you how to easily enhance the visual qualities of your videos or photos using this powerful editing tool, Dehancer. This tool allows you to add a nostalgic or cinematic touch to your photos or video projects. My demo will mostly be in Premiere Pro, but know that this plugin is also available in Lightroom, so you can create and apply apply the same aesthetics throughout all your content for a cohesive look. This is actually my first time using a plugin in Premiere, so if I can do it, you can do it too. I've tried adding like a special effects or the VHS effect to my footage before to get that retro look, but they never look good. This is what makes a Dehancer plugin different from anything else. Dehancer is a comprehensive tool for film emulation in your footage. Think about the whole process of developing film in the darkroom. That's what I imagine Dehancer does but digitally. What makes it different from using a LUT or a filter? In simple terms, it basically analyzes different aspects of your footage to create the final film look. There is a two-week trial, so if you're interested, you can try it out before signing up for it. Dehancer has provided me a taste of their license, so I can try out their products and give you guys an honest rundown of my experiences with them. Let's get started with the walkthrough. To start, make sure to have Dehancer installed and activated in Premiere Pro. Once that's done, Done, import your footage into the project and create a new sequence. Drag your footage to the timeline and create an adjustment layer on top. The first thing we need to do is to color correct the footage to make sure it has normal contrast. If you shoot in log, one of the features I love in Dehancer is its built-in camera profiles. To do that, let's find Dehancer under the effects control panel and apply it to the adjustment layer. Under input, source, choose camera, these are all the built-in profiles available. I've been practicing C-Log3, so that's what I'll use. The input correction settings are additional corrections you can do to the source material. It is highly recommended to use Dehancer on an adjustment layer instead of putting it on the individual clips. The order of the effects are also important. Dehancer recommends having the plugin at the bottom of the effects stack, meaning lumetri color, color wheel levels, all of that should be added before Dehancer. We start with the heart and soul of Dehancer, the film profiles. There is 63 film profiles with print options. So you can create the aesthetics of iconic films or create your own personalized styles. Film exposure is implemented with the push and pull perimeter. You can use this tool to change color contrast look of a scene within a film profile. You won't immediately notice a difference in color and tone. Next, we'll adjust the expand tool to set the black and white points to fit our footage. This is one of the tools that you will be using often. Use the film compression tool to make the highlights more textured and smooth out the clipping. You can even choose what kind of film you want to print your footage on. Different medium will give a different look. To get a more saturated and expressive image, we can increase contrast and decrease the exposure a bit. We can also adjust the color density to emphasize the colors. Don't be afraid to experiment and find the perfect balance for your project. Now let's talk about the fun settings. First is film grain. This is probably what most of us associate the film look with. The cool thing about Dehancer's film grain is that it emulates real grain on film. Grain isn't just overlaid on top of the clip. Dehancer actually reconstructs the shot to model after real film. Halation controls this red-orange halos around the bright lights. It may affect skin tones as well. Increasing the global diffusion can be an instant solution to naturally enhance any portraiture filling the skin tones with a touch of vivid warm glare. Another effect is bloom, which is my favorite one to play with. It looks like this soft effect, but only around light sources. Lastly, don't forget to play with vignettes. This tonal impact slider can change the overall impact of all the Dehancer effect. Once you're happy with the adjustments, preview your work in real time. It's crucial to ensure that the changes you make enhance your project rather than overpower it. The effects can be easily copied to multiple clips, but just remember to revise Dehancer settings to compensate for differences between the clips. 
And there you have it. With Dehancer, you have the power to transform your footage into visually stunning masterpiece. If you're interested in signing up for Dehancer, you can use my promo code STEFLIN10 to get 10% off. In addition to the desktop plugin, there is actually a Dehancer iOS app that you can use on the iPhone and the iPad. They share very similar features. It can edit both photos and videos with additional tools like film breath and gate weave in the video editor. Just like the plugin, the app is also based on years of scientific research. It is not just an app with filters. Thank you for watching this video for an overview of creative editing with Dehancer. I hope you found it to be helpful in elevating your video editing projects. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!